What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the main account here, we had some fun on the free to play earlier, and we have what we need to do, because I want to power up this weird hero, again, I really hate, like, I, okay, here's the thing, I love the look of her actual skin, I absolutely hate the animation of it, so so much i think i'm just gonna hide it just because i can't stay in this every single time i go to the hero but one thing we can do is we can remold her skin today and give her some additional stats don't need any of those tara skins anymore it works out perfectly she has a mythic skin which is giving a ton of attack hp and control immunity now i don't know if that does upgrade us here it looks like it does we get a couple more points the more fixed stats, which is always helpful, especially since she has a very high tier awakening. She is still kind of geared towards like a damage setup, which I know is weird. She'd probably be better with like more defensive stats, but you know, it is what it is for right now. Uh, she's actually still in full damage mode too. Holy cow. I did not want that to be a thing. <laughs> Honestly, we might want to reroll her copy eventually to try to just get her better stats. Because like I said, we don't really need her for damage. She was nice for damage while we had her. It just, it feels bad to get rid of a roll this good. This is like the dream roll for almost every single uh, hero copy you ever get. But there is something that we can do now today. If we take a look, we have level 120. We have all our sublimations and we have a noble core. So you know what time it is. I don't know how far we can actually take this, but... This is going to help level up our temple and is going to be our third hero that we are activating here, I think, if we have enough resources. So let's see if we can actually get her up to 100. I don't know if we have enough of the resource right now. I don't think we do. This is it's starting to go a little too fast. I think we're going to end up in the 80s. Oh, not even. We're stuck in the 70s. So here's the thing uh yeah we can we can do that stuff and everything her ability is interesting uh when you get three layers with a, it gives 100 percent chance to inflict one of the following effects on enemies so you're reducing the enemy's attack speed or armor i mean it's a huge chunk of armor she's lowering i almost feel like doing her basic is better because that way she can get it at the end of the first round potentially um she does have some other interesting things if we can get her up to the next level I don't really like that one necessarily. I do like this one. There's a 50% chance to reduce frontline enemies energy and a 50% to reduce uh, their energy again. Or of course you can deal extra damage equal to their HP. I really like the energy one, honestly. I really want to get her leveled up further. And here's the whole goal too. Uh, if we want to level this up, we need a third hero to get to origin level. Uh, and as you guys know, origin level, where is it? Is it out here? Yes, here it is. So origin is getting it up to one star. Now, <laughs> we're going to look at something I really don't want to be looking at right now. So that's another core of origin. And so we would have to make it how many more spaces? 10, 20, 30, 40, 70 more. <laughs> This stuff is so valuable, even more so than the Divine Aura gems. <laughs> oh, what, hold on, let's do that math again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We need 70 more. We already did all that. Can't get any more from here. So we would have to do 200. Would give us 40 more tickets. I don't think it's worthwhile. I I I I don't want to spend that right now. I, it's it is a slippery slope, guys. Once you spend a little bit, you're like, well, it's just this much more. And then you at the end you're like, oh, I just did it's only this much more five times. And now you're at like five times the amount you actually want to spend. So I think leaving her as is for now is okay. We're just gonna take any additional resources we get this spirit vein and just Keep infusing it into her. I think that's the game plan. Um, I don't know if this is going to change things up for us, though, on the boss at all. Let's actually configure our team for a boss battle here. So we have Melodic. That's correct. 
Yes, that looks good. I think we're even running a melodic on you as well, although you get nuked down very easily, sir. So we'll have to see how that plays out. You are gonna have a crown. Uh, I mean, we could try like the energy feed set up and just see if it works. Give it like one more good try. Energy feed here, energy feed here, energy feed here. I need to actually throw you back in a home real quick. And then Freya could be used, but she's not even that powerful right now. I almost feel like using just an Asmodel with whatever is actually better. I know that sounds weird. I know that does, but I think he actually provides more to the team right now. Well, we could put... Fr no, no, we definitely need to put you in. Yeah. Definitely put the queen in. That's going to be what we do for right now. And I guess, yeah. Okay, well, we'll go back. We'll go back to this. Let's see if the energy feed can work now that our team is a little bit stronger. I don't think think it will work out honestly but it's worth a shot at the very least um i i want to use her core now as well because if you take a look at it there's 100 percent chance to either reduce their control immunity their speed or their energy also 100 percent chance to grant one of our allies or the following to all allies and an additional one getting maybe more crit damage or holy damage or something like that We'll stick with the snake too because we do have Mystic Fairy Freya. I think our team's gonna be way too weak with Demon Bells. Luckily though, they do block and they regenerate a lot of their shields. It's just the boss that's gonna hurt them a ton. And the first hit as well. The first hit is probably one of the most detrimental. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is most definitely not gonna work out the way we want it to. No, yep, yeah, not not demon bells, not demon bells at all. I wonder if we should like try to start building like two teams to go into this. Probably not. Um, I think going with fans are going to be the pick for our two damage dealers, and then everybody else is just going to have to go with like crowns. We're going to need the damage reduction. It's literally the only way I could see this working. And even then, we still might struggle to survive unless we get a new hero in our lineup that's going to help us heal everybody back up. Yes, we're lacking the healing to top ourselves back up between those rounds, and it feels really, really bad, but... I really don't see any other like options for us right now. We have the stronger Natalia, but I don't think Natalia is really the answer for this game mode, sadly. But I do want to get three heroes up to origin. Um, maybe even a fourth with Fairy Queen Vesa eventually, but we don't have her actually on this account right now, and we have to make some decisions of who we're going to drop on our team. Don't know exactly what that's going to be just yet. Okay, damage in round one. And yeah, you can see how weak the Freya is. She's already propped on bending. We just need someone to, to recoup the losses, and Freya doesn't do that. Freya just provides us more shielding, whereas Fairy Queen Vesta would give us shielding and other power ups. And we could get her, we could actually start using her core as well that gives us more shielding and healing to our team. This is not good, especially once Hyperspace Hunter Islamok goes down, like our team just becomes a wet noodle. Honestly, I wonder if I just need to build a ton more fans. Because eventually the, the crowns start wearing off and you get into a danger zone like right here. This boss is going to just nuke us, isn't he? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, I mean, the boss taunted him. I don't really care too much. I want him dealing damage to the boss. The boss is just so freaking tanky. The divine power gap is really showing its power here, honestly. Uh, the one nice thing is this uh, <laughs> this hero is literally giving our Doom Terror Vulcan a full shield every round that she uses a basic. I mean, we did like, what, 50% the most the heroes? Uh... Yeah, it's not going to cut it for now, so yeah, I think we're just going to call it for right now. We do have the stronger hero. He's powering up. We got her skin up to Mythic as well, and I think that's where we're just going to sit for today. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with some better game plans.